Welcome to an overview of XRP, the online business productivity tool by Agent Technologies. Now first I'm going to tell you why we created XRP, and then I'm going to take you through a demo of XRP. Now, we created XRP because we've done a variety of systems for companies over the last 10 years, and what we realized is every company must coordinate their people resources, every company must develop their sales pipeline, those maximize the number of leads, improve your conversion rate, turn these leads into customers, maximize the number of transactions each from these customers as well as the average sale and shorten your sales pot cycle as much as possible. Also every company needs to document their company knowledge. Now we as business owners we pay many times for our employees to acquire knowledge to be used in our operation. However unless we document this company knowledge then it's really not company knowledge it's just knowledge in their heads. So each business must document this company knowledge and put into a format where the whole company has access to it. Also every company needs to maximize their productivity. This means do as much as possible with as few resources as possible. This maximizes your profitability and gives you the cash your operation needs to continue to grow. Also, some companies need standard processing for custom processes. No two companies are alike. So XRP is a system we build that can be quickly customized to meet the individual need of that particular co company. And some companies can use a portal that customers have access to. So we created with XRP a portal that customers can log into to see their tasks. Now just with anything else you can turn this on or turn this off in XRP but allows, but allows your customers to communicate with you and see the status of each of their tasks related to their projects. And finally some companies use QuickBooks and don't want to change. QuickBooks is the number one financial package for small to mid-sized companies. Now this has been one of the first packages the companies use and they really don't want to change. They know how to use QuickBooks to manage their business. So that's why we built XRP around um, packages like QuickBooks so it can give you all the other things to manage your tasks, your sales, your knowledge, and your business while you can still continue to use QuickBooks. And now we'll jump into a demo of XRP, our online business productivity tool. So XRP provides all these different functionalities and it works totally through an internet browser. You can just import your data into XRP and begin getting immediate benefit. And now we'll go into a demo of XRP. As the screen shows, it shows information about who you are and which company you're logged in at. So I'm logging as Ben Moore of Niche Consumer Products and it brings me to the task page so I can see all the tasks from my organization that my organization needs to accomplish, what's the project, the status, the priority, the comment, the user, and who actually created this, and I can search over that. Now in customizing XRP, we go over the CRM sales, CRM setup, and go over the opportunity types, and we enter in the different type of opportunities for the company. Now every company is different. For niche consumer products, their opportunity types are the Dapper 911 project, distribution, licensing, manufacturing, packaging, and even some sales representation opportunities. So first and foremost, you need to enter in the different opportunity types for the company to really customize XRP for that company. Next, we can go into CRM, then down to opportunities and considering to bring up all the opportunities that the company has that is currently open. And you can see all these with the ability to search over them so you can keep track of all the opportunities that your organization is working on. And now with adding a new opportunity to the system, we can just quickly add a new opportunity into the system. So we're giving it a short name, this test opportunity. We can give it a description, this test opportunity for a presentation. We can select which account our customer it's for. Or if it's a new account, we can just leave it as new account. We can select the type of opportunity this is. We're just going to choose manufacturing. We can select the status of this opportunity from the first contact all, all the way to a contract being accepted. We're just going to put this in this uh, demonstration status. We can enter in the value of this opportunity. We can select a close probability. So what is the probability that we're going to close this opportunity? We enter a close date. Now the system defaults to one month from today's date. So we can always open up the calendar and change that. We're going to select the account rep who's associated with this opportunity. Then we can also enter in the primary contact information for this opportunity. So I'm just going to enter in a John Smith at Main Street in Cincinnati, Ohio, 45202, and the company is going to be Acme Widget Company, and enter in his email address to jsmith at acmewidget.com, enter in a phone number for John Smith, and I can also enter in a fax number and a cell phone number. I'll just enter in a fax number, and then hit the add button. And so now what this is going to do, this is going to add all this information to the system. So it's going to add this contact to the contact database. It's going to add this account to the account database. And it's going to add this opportunity to the opportunity database and associate all these things together. 
So every time you come to the opportunity, you can see all the information related to the opportunity, the primary contact information, and there's a series of tabs along the top to manage all the information related to this opportunity. So every time we make contact with this opportunity, we can add a note. So I'm just going to put spoke to John Smith about delivering 100 widgets on Tuesday. Submit. And when I submit that, then the system knows who I'm logged in as, and it times and date stamps that. So therefore, if anyone in your organization logs in and adds a note, you'll see the whole contact history, which helps you track and analyze what's going on with the sale and shorten your sales cycle. Also, you can upload any documents related to the sale. You have very granular control over this opportunity, so you can give different users and customers access to this opportunity. Enter any notes related to the customer. Enter any price quotes related to this opportunity. Add additional contacts to the system for this opportunity. So I'm going to add a Jane Doe at jdoe at acmewidget.com. Enter a phone number for Jane Doe to keep all these things in, in one area. Then I can even enter in commission information. So if there's a commission structure related to this opportunity, I can select the account rep and I can enter the commission structure. So for this one, we're just going to give 5% plus $50 for this, for this opportunity. And so we're going to see all the different commission records. And we can even store multiple commission records. So there could be another person working on this opportunity as well too. So we can just give this person, let's say, 2.5% plus $100 for this opportunity as well too. So it allows us to have a commission structure associated with each opportunity. And now we're going to tie into the rest of the system where now I'm going to add the next follow-up task for this opportunity to really coordinate our organization to help improve our sales. So now my next follow-up task for this is send product sample. I can assign it to any user in the system. I can select the status, select the priority for this, enter in a task description, and hit submit. And now it's going to add this task to the system. So overall, when I logged in before, it brought me to the task screen. So now on that same task screen, we're going to see that, that task that we just added. And the system even alerts us of any task that is overdue or any task that we need to accomplish that day to help us better organize and coordinate our organization. So here is this reminder that pops up that you send this product sample out. So when I've sent this product sample out, we can dismiss that, that reminder. Also under CRM Sales, now that I showed you how to enter one record at a time, you actually import all your different records from an Excel files. Also, we have a status report, so you can kind of see your opportunities which you have open in your system. So in terms of the status report for new consumer products, we see these opportunities broken down by the opportunity type and their values, total value and expected value, and the number of opportunities. The opportunity status, the number, the total value, and expected value, and even which account rep has these things associated with, with them. Then we can also look at the status report graph, so we can look over the next 12 months what our expected revenue is and what the total possible revenue is in the next couple months. So we begin to kind of forecast our revenues and look to try to bring for, forward some of these opportunities in the months where we see some fall off in our organizations. Also in XRP to help you better manage your organization and improve your sales, there's a knowledge base so you can store your articles, policies, and procedures and, and best practices within your organization. There's also a manage where you can create purchase orders, create bill, uh, bill of ladings for shipping. Also, you can add additional users to the system in very granular control. So you can add new users as customers, users, or even administrators to the system. Also, under your account, you can sync with your QuickBooks. You can change your login, including change your password. And you can even manage your company and turn on some of the other features of XRP. Now we've kind of gone through the, the base of XRP in order to track and analyze your business results. Now we're just going to quickly wrap up with our our next steps. Next steps for you to sign up for a free 30-day trial of XRP at XRPSystem.com. Once again, that's XRPSystem.com. Import your data into XRP and use XRP to see if it's right for the organization. We provide XRP to our clients for just $9 per use per month. Once again, that's just $9 per use per month with no upfront cost and works fully through an internet browser. Thank you.